This is Numicron, perhaps the world's only air-driven clock. Her power source is a nearby aquarium pump delivering 2.7 pounds of air pressure through a small plastic tube. Numicron consists of three different systems linked in series, the air drive, the maintaining power loop, and the timepiece. The air drive is functionally the same as that of an old steam locomotive, although it looks different. The two pistons are connected to the crank of a drive wheel at right angles so that there is always a force on the crank throughout the wheel's rotation. Numicron's drive linkage is geometrically folded to make the system more compact. Air is sent to one end or the other of each cylinder in the right sequence to keep the drive wheel turning. At the midpoint of each cylinder's stroke, it actuates a micro switch that reverses the other cylinder's stroke via a solenoid valve on the back of the clock. Because the air drive must have surplus power, else the clock would stop, there must be a system for releasing the excess and leveling the torque sent on to the time train. This is done by the maintaining power loop, a system invented by 17th century genius Christian Huygens, who also gave us the pendulum clock and numerous discoveries in mathematics, physics, and astronomy. The air drive does not propel the clock directly, but instead lifts a small drive weight suspended on an endless belt. This weight provides a constant torque to the timepiece and through linkage to a relief valve spills any unneeded air pressure when it reaches the top of its range. This is why the air drive starts and stops and why you can hear little puffs of air escaping the relief valve every second or two. The timepiece sports three gauges on an instrument panel telling us the hour, the minute, and the phase of the moon. Usually, a going train is driven from the minute wheel, whose slow speed conserves the power provided by a spring or weight in a normal clock. Here, the robust pull of the air drive is given directly to the fastest part of the clock, the escape wheel. All other wheels in the movement are slower than the escape, the moon wheel at the other end turning only once every 59 days. This low gearing makes the going train extremely forgiving and largely insensitive to friction and other potential afflictions of traditional clock designs. The movement is regulated by the seldom seen grasshopper escapement, invented in 1722 by the self-taught clockmaking genius John Harrison and used in his H1, the first clock in history accurate enough to determine the longitude at sea. It's not quite as good an escapement as we like to think because its direct recoil action on the pendulum can interfere with the regularity of the beat. But it's well suited to this high torque escape wheel which would not play nicely with traditional anchor mounted pallets. These teeth strike the grasshopper pallets with some force, so four tiny leather cushions are inset to muffle their sound. Numicron is not a simple design. There's plenty of wiring and plumbing under the hood. That's why various lights, gauges, and switches are provided on the control panel to enable rapid isolation and diagnosis of any malfunctions in either the electrical or the air circuits. Asked whether such a novel instrument should be patented, I note that a patentable invention must be useful. This is not a useful thing. But it is good watching and good listening. Things you can't get from quartz.